So for everybody watching, where would we know you from? Where would you know me from? Um, right, well, I produced um, The Ghost is Alive, which is a, a project that has been in development for a while with Skeleton Key Films um, that uh, um, one of the producers, I should say, because it was revived and revamped and we're still, and now it's in post and it's coming out soon and we're super psyched for it. So that's sort of hidden my, my name from there. Um, but I just recently sort of got more into acting, so um, yeah, I have become one of the Cambrias from Nine Days with Cambria. Um, which was also written uh, and directed by Jason Armstrong and Mike Clausen. And um, what else have I done? I'm, it, it's so strange. I, 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 I actually, um, you will know me from uh, a movie I, I just shot called Sister Elizabeth, where I am uh, main, uh, the main lead, and that will be probably coming out sometime next year. It's a feature film um, about a nun. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm just actually leaving here, which is KW Darkcon, and going straight up to set for Swerve, which is another web series starring Sharon Bell and Emily Alitalo, and I'm really, really psyched to be uh, one of the leads on that with them. So yeah, I'm really excited. What was the first project you worked on? Like, were you a, a tree in a kindergarten play? or the first project. The first thing that you consider your first project. I worked on um, that I worked on in terms of the field. I'd have to say I worked on a horror. I was uh, art department. I, I, I it was really weird. The art director had to leave. There was an emergency, and they were like, "Is there an art director anywhere?" I'm like, "Is there a doctor on set?" Like hilarious. And I was like, "I can do this." So that was my that, well, that was like my first gig. That was what I really consider because it was fun. I had to like paint like blood on the stairs to make it look like nine bodies had been dragged down. It was pretty awesome. But then in terms of acting, I have to say the meatiest thing that I did that got me sort of started it was, was Cambria. It was, uh, you know, nine women playing one character and really, really just emotionally invested in that one. Uh, I produced that as well, but just being that Cambria, it was really cathartic and awesome. So, yeah, that was my first, that's, my, that's where my heart lies. Yes, for my first baby. Active. What's your favorite project you've ever worked on? Ghosts a lot. Yeah, it was, it's so much fun. It, it was, you know, there's something really, really crazy and awesome about getting, a, well, first of all, about producing indie. I love it. It's like crazy fun and so creative and out of the box. But then I got I had a small role in that as well, which was great. Uh, I played Maisie Russell, I'm a blogger who kind of messes things up hardcore for a bunch of people. But um, yeah, we're all we were all up in this house, and it was in the middle of winter, and we were kind of you know it was just it was crazy night shoots, and it really we just really had amazing people working on it, super talented, and just the family feeling, you know that that comes from working on set. Yeah, that was definitely my favorite project so far. Do you have any kind of rituals like you're going on set, you gotta walk in a circle three times, like when the dog lays down for a nap, is there any things that you have to do to get ready for what you do? You know what's funny is uh, I always wear my lucky bracelets. Lucky bracelets. Before I, before I go to set, I don't know why, I just need to do it, even if I take it off. Um, I always kind of try and center and ground myself and meditate, say a couple mantras. I find it really... Uh, to let go, to surrender completely, right? To set. You're making up a world. There is no time, there is no geography except what you're making. So you kind of have to let go of all your constructs. We're literally leaving here, going to shoot Swerve, uh, which is near the French River area in uh, just north of Perry Sound. So it's, it's going to be pretty intense, really rough, uh, no running water. Uh, and, and three girls, and just like really, really sort of high drama um, and really emotional. And then a week and a week and a half later, I'm going to Hungary to finish shooting uh, Sister Elizabeth, where I'm lead, and it's it's um, it's such a different circumstance. And you know, it's 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 kind of neat, kind of being involved in like back to back projects that are so different and. I don't know, as an actor, I'm just like, wow, this is so cool, I can't, I can't believe I'm doing this. But 
Swerve for me, I think is is gonna. I think it's gonna be really interesting because it's very relatable and it's very. Um, it, I, I feel like I'm, we're gonna connect on a lot of different levels. Um, just just shooting it, you know. Like we only have a small amount of time to get it done, but the fact that it's a series and I'm, I'm hoping like it's gonna be aired in segments and everything, it's gonna feel much more drawn out. It's gonna feel longer than it is. We'll have that kind of feeling a little bit longer than. You know, finishing a movie and then, okay, see you later, see it when it's done in post. I don't know. I'm really excited about Swerve. I'm really excited about it. So, with Swerve being your next project. Yes, literally, really, like, hours, late hours from now. You're actually leaving from here and going straight to the set. We are leaving from here and driving up and being on set and then shooting Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Crazy. Today we're at Dark Con and Kitchener. Table. Yeah. It's so you're doing a guest appearance, and then a few hours later you're going to a set. <laughs> so talking about Swerve, what was your first reaction to the story? It's it's really intense. I don't want to give anything away. I uh, I relate really to my character so much, um, and I know that partially like it's it's the benefit of having an amazing writer like Jason. You know, he he really knows how to write. An emotional connection and an intuitive connection between people, and what also between women, which is so so rare. Um, it, you know, we're all it's three very strong women, and um, just reading them again, like seriously, like I cried, I cried. Then I gave it to my husband, I'm like, can you do me a favor, like read this, read this with me, you know? And he and myself and Jason also work together as like dark water productions, like we kind of help produce each other. Whenever possible, so Ethan's reading it, going. So it's just something like, ah, I, God. you know, like it, it's just, it, and it, it's that emotional pull. Um, I think it's really, really going to help catapult it and and sort of make its mark in terms of web series that you know, like you, you don't see a lot of web series that that have that integrity. So people will have probably already seen Swerve before this. Before this? this will be like okay. behind the scenes where they'll take pieces of trailers. I'm not yeah, sure. Sure. The spoilers won't happen, so if you tell me something, they won't know. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, it's, what, what's interesting is I, so the weird thing is that I actually have a chronic illness. I have mixed connective tissue disease uh, as well as Crohn's, and my character has a terminal illness. So, like, it's just so, it, there's a lot of things like, that keep coming up for me as a person thematically that obviously like it's just been like oh my gosh like ah this is so hard but it's also so cathartic um you know and she's it, it's sort of it's an open-ended but not ending you know you kind of i don't know if there's going to be a sewer too and i don't know if like <laughs> jen is going to all of a sudden magically reappear i don't think so somehow but um but yeah it's like it's just it really got me. Like it totally. Yeah, I can't wait to. I can't wait to kind of stick my teeth into the character and. Yeah, and just. It's relatable. There's a lot of people I think are going to be able to relate. Um, having not shot it yet, yeah. what do you feel is the most important scene? I don't know. It might be after you. It might be. There, I think there's a point where I. I guess I recognize somebody's voice and uh, and are we speaking like is it okay like to just talk to someone like have you, have you read it and stuff? Yeah. Like, yeah okay so basically when when Culpin sits down and we're all having that girls night out at the dinner table and just ding and knowing that like basically no I, I'm knowing that I, I, I've heard that voice I know that person and I'm trying to place it and then Emily or Stevie's character uh, or Stevie rather going, you know, like knowing him in that awkward kind of strange we're all sitting with our fates at the same table and not knowing it and kind of having that that fun. I think that's a very, very important scene. And then um, and just those moments of connection between between the women, like there's sitting down and getting to know each other and then obviously the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty. I think Jay really picked pivotal points for each episode as well.
well. You know, and the cliffhanger kind of nature. There's a lot of digging. Fries are done. Exactly. Order up. Yeah. So how were you chosen to work on Swerve? How was I chosen? Did the audition or was it I didn't audition. Thing? It was it was written. It was honestly it was written. Um James we were talking about something initially about um okay, let's do a web series, let's do something I guess uh, where I would have been more in a producer role where it was like, okay, um, we're gonna do something fun, and sort of tongue in cheek and it's gonna be, you know, female centric and um, you know, sort of lighthearted comedy, and then Jason was we were talking, and he was saying, you know, it's, it's not, it's not coming out the way I wanted to. I don't know why. I'm just gonna go with it. And I was like, yeah, go with it. Right, what hap was happening naturally, and then all of a sudden, this really deep drama came out, and it was really, really beautiful and really intense. So, yeah, it, it was funny. It was like, okay, so for Jen. Um, Who do you work the closest with, an actor, a director, a camera guy? You're somebody you're always going to be talking to on the set of Swerve. Uh, it's weird. I think, I mean, honestly, I think we're all going to have this, like, super tight relationship with Jason. <laughs> Just because he's, he get, it's his baby, it's his script, and I know that, like, what, what I love about it is that he always gives us, like, little notes to play close to our, like, we're playing with, like, closed hand of cards, you know what I mean? We, we're not, there's things that he's given us little pointers that not everybody else knows, our backgrounds, our bios. And so I feel like even though I'm going to be super close to these girls the whole time, which is going to be amazing, I, I'm going to be looking to him the whole time for kind of that, is that cool? Is that, is that, is that where we're going, you know? And uh, yeah, he's really, really good with that. He's great with those subtleties, so yeah, for sure. And you mentioned a few of the girls who you're going to be working with. Yeah. Um, this Sharon? Is a cut yeah. Pick a name and go. Um, so, I'm going to, Emily Alitalo, she's amazing, she's, uh, I know she's an inspiration, she's done a ton of stuff, um, I, I'm just really excited to work with her because we've talked about working together, we've been like, oh, it'd be really cool if, you know, and Cambria was really interesting, but we, we were at the same location, but as you know, Cambria was like, really kind of, everyone was sort of compartmentalized, everyone had their own experience with the camera. So I've never been on anything with her. Sharon I got to work with, which is great. Sharon Bell. Um, she is like amazingly talented. I got to work with her Ghosts a lot. And uh, you know, she's she's lovely. She's just lovely. But it's it's I'm really excited to work with both of them. But yeah, for sure, definitely it'll be really nice to work with her for the first time as well. If you were to go into a video store, yeah. where would you find Spur in what section of genre? I would go